This week we're going to study the physics of baking. Baking has arisen already on several occasions in this course, but so far we haven't been able to actually go into the physics of baking. That is, how do recipes for baked goods work and produce the delicious outcomes that we all so much enjoy? And the reason for that, the reason that we haven't discussed baking as of yet, is that as you will see this week, um, the physics of baking involves many, in fact, if not most of the ideas that we've discussed up until this point. Baking involves elasticity, viscosity, emulsions, heat transfer, transfer, um, solubility, many concepts like that. And this week we're going to go um, through what is going to be on one hand a bit of a, a review of the concepts that we've discussed up until this point. And on the other hand, we're going to show you how these ideas apply to baking. So before we begin, I just want to give one caveat. We are not professional bakers. We are scientists. And our intent in this week's dis baking discussion is not to basically go through every method and every technique that is required to basically make a baked good delicious. What we're going to do is to expose the basic scientific issues that underlie baking. And by putting them together in your own mind, they will hopefully help you make sense of recipes. And to help us with this, we're very fortunate to be able to visit the kitchen of Joanne Chang, a flour bakery. Hi, I'm Joanne Chang of Flour Bakery. I'm gonna be showing you today how to make yellow birthday cake and talking to you about all of the science behind making birthday cake. So first, let me show you all the ingredients we have for a yellow birthday cake. We have unsalted butter, granulated sugar, we have eggs and egg yolks, and there's a little bit of vanilla in here as well. We also have some buttermilk, and then our dry ingredients, which are flour. And then in this container are combined baking soda, baking powder, and kosher salt. Okay, the first thing I do is I'm gonna put the butter into a mixer. You could do this by hand, but I promise you after about 10 minutes, your arms will be really tired. So if you can, do it in a mixer. Now, one of the things that's important about the butter is that we want it to be at room temperature. Now, why is it important that the butter is at room temperature? Because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding millions and millions of minuscule microscopic air pockets into the butter. And we're gonna do that with our sugar. If you imagine sugar, it's, a, it's an actual crystal, right? Sugar is a, is a crystal. And the crystalline structure of the sugar, what it does is it acts as tiny little shovels into the butter and it digs all of these little holes and makes little minuscule pockets of air. If the butter's too cold, then the, sh the sugar can't do its work. The shovels just aren't strong enough. So you wanna make sure you start off with room temperature butter. I'm gonna slowly start adding the sugar. And as I'm doing this, the butter is slowly starting to get more and more uh, Works, worked up, and I'm going to show this to you once all of the butter gets, gets put in. Now why is it so important that I have all of these air pockets? So if you imagine what you want for the ideal birthday cake, you want something that's nice and light and fluffy and tender and velvety, and the last thing in the world you want is a really tough, hard to eat, chewy cake. So what we try to do in the making of the cake is create as many opportunities as possible for science to do its magic and take all of these ingredients and turn them into something light and fluffy and delicious. So when I talk about the sugar creating air pockets into the butter, later on when I actually added all of these ingredients to the cake batter and I put that batter into the oven, all of those pockets of air will expand in the oven once they get into the heat of the oven. And that is what's gonna help cause some of the rise of the cake. And the rise of the cake is what's gonna make the cake really light and fluffy instead of heavy and dense. 